Good morning, fam. Oh, it's 7 a.m. <laughs> and that is really early for me to be vlogging here. But today, I want to bring you guys along with me for a day of training here in Sosfi. Sir, I can't open my eyes. It's so bright. But I'm going to bring you guys along with me for a whole day. And uh, that starts now. One, two, three. Hello, Janice. It's 7.11 a.m. Right now in Sasfi, it's 27 degrees and partly cloudy, with a forecast high of 40 and a low of 24. Dad, I'm seized prop weapon. <laughs> but with the five things you have the schools and the addition related material. But this one was the National School of the Murder of Haitian. Alright, the sun is starting to come up. Oh, that looks so cool. The plane flying and the trail is catching the illumination of the sun. Anyways, it looks like it is going to be a beautiful day out. So I'm going to get my clothes on and do a little morning massage gun. I get some more of my outerwear on. And then I pack up the backpack that I'm going to bring with me to the mountain. I get my butt pads in, get my jacket in. And then I've got helmet, goggles, gloves, and my necky, my other one in case it's really cold. Oh my God, I always forgot. Bluetooth headphones, I charge those overnight. And then it is time for breakfast. I don't like to spend too much time making anything for breakfast, so I usually just eat leftovers. And today that is half of a pizza. A plus athlete diet. This pizza does not look super awesome, but working with what I got. All right, breakfast time. I also try to pound as much water as I can before going up the mountain because I don't really stop to drink much water while I'm training. And dehydration leads to muscle cramps and headaches and dizziness and um, just not good athletic performance. Out. Good morning. I'm heading out to meet up with the rest of my team because we walked to the gondola together. Every day we meet at a different time. Hello. Hi. Based on what time gondola we have, they try to put all the teams on different gondola times. Good morning, Brett. Good morning. To space everyone out for, you know, COVID and such. So, yeah. Today, this is the time we're leaving and we are going to walk across the town to the gondola together. Hi. So the kind of crazy thing about this town is that there are no cars allowed. So it like all the streets are just walking streets. And then there's these little like electric golf carts that you can get as taxis. That is one of the little golf carts. Those are the only vehicles in the town. Check out this view. When I first got here like a week and a half ago, all these trees were green and just like over the last two weeks we've gotten to watch them change colors and it's just so sick looking that is sick and now outside the gondola each team has a little corral that they wait in so you find the one with your time and then you wait in it until it's your time to go into the gondola Sid's late. Good <laughs> morning. Okay. Yeah. Usually when we get up here to the gondola, there's like a bunch of other random people waiting to get in. But today, it's just us. We're in our own gondola. This is sick. But we are not done yet. We have a whole second gondola. We're out of gondola number two, but we are not done yet. We also have 
a train that we have to take. So the train is finally the last step of the journey, but the whole thing takes like 45 minutes to be on the first long bullet to the top of the train, so kind of a big commute. Now that we are finally up here at the mountain, take my boots back off and I do like an actual proper morning stretch. I don't stretch at the house before we leave since we spend 45 minutes just standing and sitting in the Gonzalez train. So I like to stretch once I get up here. So I'm like actually warmed up to go ride. We are geared up and ready to go to the pipe and start training. And the moon is still out. That's so sick. Woo! Look at the crevasses are so crazy. This mountain is actually like pretty big. Huge crevasses all over the place, so you really have to like stay on the run because crevasses are basically just big cracks in the glacier that can be like 50 feet deep. This is the T bar that we ride all day that takes us up to the pipe, and so yeah, now for the next four or five hours. We're gonna be lapping the T-bar to the pipe, T-bar pipe, and just getting it done. First run of the day, I take it pretty easy, go slow, just feel it out, make sure everything my body is feeling good. We're just gonna get a nice, mellow warm up running. Doing a few runs and getting feeling like I was warmed up for the day, I decided to try to focus on back fives because my back fives are one of my lower amplitude tricks. I just went with repetition of doing them over and over, trying to fix little things with the line because it's not all about speed in the pipe. You can see in this one I did a big air, but by the time I got to the back five, my amplitude was just gone. So I worked on trying to keep the line where it was supposed to be and then worked on getting grabs because I also don't grab my back fives very often and that is also very important. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then I did a back seven since I haven't done a back seven out here yet. Getting to the end of the day here, both of my coaches are down at the bottom of the pipe so I've switched it up. Now I'm hiking the bottom to do front three into cab three, just trying to get my cab spin out as well because that's my other low point in my run. So I'm setting out the day working on this line and trying to get these cab threes nice. Whew, all right, let's go. Working on the front threes was feeling pretty good, but then the speed was just getting too slow to really make it worth it. So I did another run through the pipe. and then did a few fives just to end the day and a front seven. Yeah, Denise. The walls of the pipe are now both in the shade and I am so KO'd from like hiking the last oh, two, three hours or something. Oh my, uh, my legs are like on the verge of just jelloing out, but I feel like I had a pretty good day. I definitely made some progress on the back fives. I did some good front fives that were just like bonus, uh, just because it was the end of the day and I felt like, why not? So yeah, pretty good training day, but now I need to just like chill. All right, now that that 45 minute ride down the mountain is done and I've been back to the house to change, it is time to punish myself and maybe even cry a little bit. I'm heading to the river 
to do a nice bath. It is a necessary evil because my legs are dead. I'm in pain and I know I have to, but that doesn't mean I want to. Hi, kitty. All right, I can hear the raging water. Now the things I do to be an athlete. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Ah! I hate this, I hate this a lot. But there's a beautiful view. Uh, I am meditating, I am imagining, I'm in a hot jacuzzi, and the tingling that I feel all up and down my legs is the warmth. It's warm tingles, woo, so hot. It's so hot that it feels cold. 11 minutes later. It's really not too bad when you, you know you can't feel anything anymore. We're at 10 minutes. I'm gonna get out of here and get back to my house and get a nice warm shower. Ah. Walking after doing an ice bath feels so funny because like literally from waist down, I feel nothing. Only like five minutes to get back to my condo now. Now it is getting towards the end of the day. I really want to explore this town, but I am just so exhausted every day when I get back from training. The elevation up at the pipe is 3,500 meters, which is this many feet. And I think that altitude and then being on the T-bar all day, so we're like standing the whole time and then hiking the pipe, everything like my muscles are tired my life is tired now that i've relaxed in bed for a little bit i've gone hungry so i'm gonna cook some dinner let's head to the kitchen and get going so i ended up bringing a bunch of tuna with me because meat here in switzerland is so expensive i've been incorporating a lot of tuna into meals and then basic starches like potato or rice or pasta very basic diet going on here we got some olive oil on the potatoes i'm just gonna use my hands to make sure they're all coated i think i'm ready for hell's kitchen and then my secret weapon i also brought taco bell sauce with me taco bell sauce mm, oh my god i miss taco bell we're gonna have some saucy potatoes All right, guys, I have got my dinner ready, and now I am just gonna sit down, maybe watch a little bit more Netflix and just relax because I am so tired. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you're subscribed. And yeah, that's been a day in my life here at Saucy Training Camp, and I will see you guys on my next adventure. Bye! Life can be real tough, so you've got to carpe happy. That means seizing your happy. Whatever it is that puts a smile on your face and a dance in your heart, you grab onto it, savor it, and enjoy it. We only get one life, so seize onto every happy moment you can.